life can get so full on at times. The last couple of weeks have been crazy, but I've got to say, YouTube's fantastic. You can find any kind of advice on anything, and things that you weren't really looking at for advice can be really inspiring. And I just want to say, I'm so glad that I've discovered Kara from Caracamos. And I discovered her through a Mika Kitty video where she quoted her and subscribed to her. And one of her most recent videos was extremely helpful. It was talking about uh, group polarisation on the internet. But it was just some of the principles to do with discussions and working things out in a group. Um, where people have different opinions and different standpoints was just really helpful for a, a situation that I'm in at the moment. Throughout my life I have picked up different bits of really helpful advice. Uh, when I was a teenager I heard a really good bit of advice which was about friendships and how friendships go through a, a progression. There's the initial stage and this person talking called it the veneer stage where you just see what's on the surface and you either like it or you don't and that's what attracts you to the person or makes you think no not a friend for me and then after a bit the friendship obviously gets a bit deeper and you start to find out all sorts of things about that person that you didn't initially see and he was calling it the disillusionment stage you know that stage that you go through where you just rub each other up the wrong way. But if you push through that time, if you stick with it, gradually you begin to accept one another's differences and you get into that deep, true relationship. My best friend Debbie and I, we definitely went through that. So I learnt that principle really early on. I think when we were about 16 or 17, we almost didn't talk to each other for about a year. And it was over things like, cutting up tomatoes differently from each other or leaving the string on the roast beef or not just things like that just irritated each other and we had arguments about them and we just kind of backed off from each other and then we just kind of thought that's ridiculous we like each other they are little differences uh, and I'd already heard this talk about the cycle of relationships and we pushed through it and we have been friends for oh, 35 years or something crazy maybe longer. Then going into my adult life and my working life, you have to work with teams of people, groups of people, and there are different models that people uh, talk about in terms of uh, group building, community building, team building, things like the Tuckman model where you've got the forming, the storming, the norming, and then the performing. So it's pretty similar to the idea of the veneer stage, the disillusionment stage, and then the deep friendship building. You get a group together, and then as Kara was talking about, you could get polarization if people get defensive. So what she's encouraging in her video is that you don't get defensive, you scale back the anger. I think she was quoting that from another video. You need to go and look at the video to see who she's quoting. And you hear one another out, and it can be quite stormy, so that's why the Tottenham model calls it the storming period. But then you begin to norm, you begin to normalise, you get used to the idea that other people have different opinions, um, have different standpoints, and you thrash them out. And then you can begin to perform the task that the team was there for. And another very similar model that I discovered a few years ago when I read a book by Scott Peck. Lots of you will know Scott Peck from his A Road Less Travelled book. I discovered another book by him called A Different Drum and it's specifically about community building and he uses this principle in team building exercises uh, all over the world in lots of different situations. He quotes a team that was together to do something in New York City Council and he recommends like a weekend of getting everything out onto the table and hearing everybody's point of view. Everybody comes at things from a different road. Everybody has a different vantage point that they're seeing things from. So therefore, 
people are going to get shocked when somebody has a, a different opinion, has a different viewpoint, but you have to hear it to understand it. Uh, and it's been like this in a team that I've been working in recently. So that's why life's been so full on, because there's been a, a deadline that we've had to meet. We've been like faffing around for months. Uh, personally, I've had, found it extremely frustrating, as I suggested in the first place, that we have this having everything out on the table process. And it's only now that we have this deadline that we've got to that stage. But it's been very good. And... It's so important to have everything out on the table because I discovered that some of the frustrations I've had have been caused by another person not understanding that I understand the situation. I mean, how was I to know that person didn't know I understood the situation? So my desire in having this chat is to encourage people in their relationships that you are going to go through a disillusionment stage, but you need to see all of the person and embrace all their different faults before the relationship is going to go deeper. So that's particularly if you're thinking of a long-term relationship, but also just in friendships. You know, friendships can last a lifetime and they're so supportive. And if you have somebody that knows everything about you and you know they accept you as you are, how fantastic is that? But in communities as well, it's so important. And uh, Cara is talking about communities on the internet, but it goes for communities everywhere. Teams of people that are working together, groups of friends, push through, don't run away, don't be pseudo community, don't just be veneer, get into the deep real stuff so that every one of you feels truly accepted no matter what. Mm -hmm.